Hey everybody, Dan here, and we are going to redo a video that I did about a month or two ago that I think I might have messed up. Now here's the deal. I used regular distilled vinegar, household 5% acid vinegar, and I used a special all natural soap that actually what a lot of people came back and said was the soap was acting like baking soda or it is baking soda or they got pretty technical, um, especially the last guy that commented and he was polite, but he was like, you know, it's possible that the, the, the chemical of that soap, which was what he said, might have neutralized the acid of the vinegar, which is why we didn't have a successful house cleaning test. And I said, okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna redo it. And not only am I gonna redo it, I went and I bought a brand new Flowmaster from Walmart to make sure that there is no chemicals in here, none whatsoever, never have been. Five dollar making you holla, okay? We're also gonna take it one step further because some people also said, hey, well, what about cleaning vinegar as opposed to food grade vinegar? Cleaning vinegar, uh, this one, is 6% acid. Um, I think minimum, at least 6% acid, I think is what they say uh, for this. And food grade vinegar, which is what we have here, is 5%, um, say for food. Now they both are used for cleaning, uh, common household things in the home, uh, but cleaning vinegar has a little bit more acid, which is why we're gonna do the test with this one as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the regular 5%. We're gonna section off a little piece on my neighbor's house that we're about to pressure wash anyways. So we're gonna test it with some straight 5% vinegar and nothing else. And let's just see what happens. Next to the 5% vinegar, we're then gonna rinse this out and we're gonna test it with the 6% or higher cleaning vinegar. Now I will make a note. This says right here, Always dilute half cup of this product with a gallon of water prior to use. When cleaning with any product, always test in an inconspicuous area to ensure there is no damage or discoloration. Do not use on marble, granite, or natural stone surfaces as they may dull, etch, or stain. All right, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use this just on vinyl, and we're gonna see what happens, and we're not gonna dilute it. We're going straight, straight up, 6%, buy acid and if it eats through the vinyl, I'll go to Home Depot while she's out of town and buy her new vinyl. But that's not gonna happen. Let's go ahead, let's get this loaded up and let's get to spraying. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the 5% food grade vinegar. All right, that way we can rinse it out. Well, we're not gonna use water to rinse it. We're just gonna empty it out and then we'll put the 6% in. Um, I went that route because I didn't wanna put 6% in and then put 5% onto the 6% and there might be 6% and then it might make the 5% more potent. So we'll run out the 5% and then put in the 6%. We're we'll gonna use this as our divider. So 5% on this side, 6% on this side. Cleaning vinegar on this side, food born on that side, or food grade. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray the vinegar on here straight without any soap. And just see what happens. I hope it works. You know, they, I mean, it'd be nothing better than an all natural house cleaning, you know? No harsh chemicals or anything. So that's quite a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit down here on, the, on this mold that's on the concrete. Not sure if that's showing or not, but I ain't worried about it. So what we're gonna do, it's 1022, okay? I'm gonna come back at 1035. So we'll go ahead and give this eight and five, we'll give this 13, so we'll give it about 15 minutes. We'll see if there's any difference. All right, then we'll apply a second coat if we need to, give it another 15 minutes. So that'll be 30 minutes of dwell time for 5% all natural vinegar as a household cleaner from this side over. And we'll be back. All right, guys, it is 1035, as you can see. All right, uh, so almost 15 minutes it's been on. So I figured, you know, it'll get to 15 minutes here real soon. <laughs> uh, a couple minutes short. Still have the 5% in here, not mixed with anything. Um, I'm, I don't really see a noticeable difference yet and I don't see that the vinegar is dripping green like it's cutting through the stuff so I'm not very impressed but now that we put a little bit of pressure on it now with the sprayer let's see if 
a little bit of agitation will loosen up some of this green stuff and have it dripping off as we apply a second coat. Um, and then we'll be back. I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm like right on it spraying. So uh, nothing's getting loose. Not, nothing is getting loose here. It's not, it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Uh, but we're going to give it 30 minutes total dwell time. And uh, then we'll see what's up. We'll see if uh, maybe a garden hose will get it off. Because it's, it's, not, it's not that we want to just kill the green. All right. We want to kill the green and make a nice appearance now especially if you're in the business. Now, if you're just a homeowner and you want to just do some spot treatment and come back in a month and it's all gone, great. Um, come back in a week and it's all gone, great. Maybe you have a boat, you have a, a long soft bristle uh, brush to clean a boat. Maybe you can reach high up and you can do this to kill it, uh, to neutralize it, and then turn around and use a brush with a garden hose or something and maybe agitate it and get it clean. Um, it's a lot of work. And the idea for me and my business is, you know, in and out. People like to be smart and call me a splash and dash person. I'll wear that title proudly. Splash, dash, make some cash. Happy customers, never had a complaint. Um, so we'll let that sit for a little bit. It's 1037. And we'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, guys. It's 1053, about to be 1054. About to be 30 minutes total dwell time. Two coats of 5% vinegar, food grade vinegar. No soap, no surfactant, no nothing. And there is no noticeable difference. Let's get the garden hose. I'll just attempt to spray it with a little bit of pressure and see if it comes clean. Not in the slightest absolutely no difference so what if you have a long pole with a brush on it will that work all right well there's just water in a bucket and a broom that's loosening it up so it needs to be agitated question is what do you do about up high if you can't reach it um, so that's up to you to decide if that's what you want to do I know with bleach I don't have to touch this when I use sodium hypochlorite But, look how clean that is. 100% all natural. What about the ground? Yeah, the ground would require a lot more. Okay. That came out pretty clean. A little bit of agitation with a brush, and we got it. It'll be up to you if you want to go up higher. Now, here's another question. What if we just used a brush? Would it come off? Let me try this right here. Well, guys, ain't this interesting?
Let me turn the hose off. Okay, so what did we discover with 5% vinegar? It doesn't do a damn thing to remove the mildew. But it does make it nice and clean if you scrub it with a broom. This is a medium bristle broom. Over here, we didn't use any chemicals and all we did is scrub it with the broom and it's 90% cleaner. It needs a little bit more love. It's not as clean as it could be right here. You see that? Whereas the vinegar did help cut through it. But I do see some dirt still here, even though I agitated a little bit, but this is a noticeable difference. Now our next test is gonna be 6% what will it do? All right, so the 5% did a pretty good job because we scrubbed it. Um, but scrubbing it did a decent job without even using the 5%. So I'm going to have to say that the 5% didn't really do too much in the way of cleaning anything. Now, did it neutralize it to where it won't come back so fast? Well, maybe a chemist will say something about that. Fantastic. Our goal is, can we make a house wash happen all natural without any sodium hypochlorite? And what's it going to take to make that happen? Because a customer wants it nice. They want it now. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to wait. They don't want to hear that you neutralized vinegar or uh, fungus. They want it spotless. So when they show their house or their friends come over or whatever, they, uh, you know, it looks new. Like they expect. Like pressure washing. Like using sodium hypochlorite. That's what they expect. They don't, they don't, you know. All right, so now we're going to put 6% on here, and we're going to give it a 15-minute dwell time to see if it cuts through it without agitation. I really hope it works. I would love an alternative to sodium hypochlorite. I think that would be awesome. Now remember, the uh, instructions on the bottle said to mix this with a half a cup with a gallon of water. And we're going straight. This is kind of costly. I'm not sure what this costs. I don't remember. But I bet, I bet this little bottle, two quarts, a half a gallon, I bet this half gallon is probably uh, twice as much as a gallon of concentrated bleach. All right, it's 11.04, we'll be back at 11.20. All right, we're back. It's been 15 minutes, and there's no noticeable, visible difference with using the cleaning vinegar. I bet it is loose. We're gonna do the same thing, though. We're gonna reapply. Why are we doing this? Okay, when I do a house wash, a house wash with SH, with bleach, I go around the whole house one time. So from the time I start to the time I finish, the bleach with soap as a surfactant to help lift and loosen dirt and get underneath things and get underneath the spider webs and all that stuff will sit on the house for a good 20 to 25 minutes before I come back around to either rinse or reapply areas that need a re a reapplication, um, just a bad area. But most of the time, it takes me about 25 minutes to run around a house and rinse it all down with SH and soap mix you know with my pressure washer using the black tip and the pink tip if it's a second story house as well um so with that said i'm trying to do it fair and not just do a 10 minute application and say oh look it sucked and then i put bleach on and i run around the house and it takes 25 minutes and it has more dwell time so i'm trying to not only make it fair i'm actually making it more fair that i'm reapplying this within 10 or 15 minutes so it cuts even quicker should cut even quicker since we're not using a surfactant since it is drying faster than probably the bleach with a little bit of soap would dry i like the soap because it leaves like a film so i'm just explaining why i'm actually doing it this way with two applications and not just one and calling it quits i want it to be fair against sh although we are not going to have sh in this video sh is sodium hypochlorite for those of you who don't know which is the active ingredient of bleach So here's our second application, and I mean, we're laying it on. Hopefully the video shows.
and I'll be back around 11.30, and we'll give it a go and see what's up, if it's any thinner, and if not, if not, then we'll do the same thing. We'll hit it with a garden hose and see if the garden hose loosens it up, or if we have to agitate it with the brush to remove it. Um, okay? This, I don't want to make this a comparison against SH. It's, it's, will this work, and what will it take to make it work, and then it's up to you if you want to do it. Okay, I'll let a little extra time go by. Uh, it's 11.32, so we're just, we're going to go over it now and check it out. It's dwelled now for about 30 minutes. Again, this is the 6% or higher cleaning vinegar, and it is loose, but the question is, can we get it off easier with water pressure, just using a garden hose? So, if you were at your house, this is what you would do. Okay, right off the bat, we know that's obviously a nothing burger. <laughs> that's a fail. So, it does not just come off by spray and then walk away. Um, it does not come off by spray and then water pressure. And if you're thinking, well, I would get a, a, a nozzle that would put more pressure. Well, yeah, but you lose pressure as you go up to the roof, as you're doing your chimney. You just lose pressure. So, I mean, I'm standing right on it using pressure and it does nothing. So then the next thing is, will it come off when we agitate it with a broom? And of course it does, because we already did that with the 5%, the house, household vinegar, and that worked just fine. So, cleaning vinegar, household vinegar, uh, doesn't matter, there was no difference. No matter what you do, you're gonna have to agitate. I think that's the right word I'm using, right? You're gonna have to scuff it up, scrub it up. You're gonna have to use some type of a brush, a soft bristle brush, to go ahead and clean it. Um, will it do anything to the ground? Nothing at all. It, it did nothing for the ground. So, uh, there you go. End result, vinegar works to loosen the stuff up and give it a cleaner appearance rather than just loosening the stuff up with a brush. If you brush it alone, it's not as clean than if you vinegar it first and then brush it, but you're gonna have to brush it. So if you wanna use vinegar as an all natural, organic cleaning agent for your house, for your pressure wash, uh, you're going to need a long pole. So do your homework. Check to see how your house is. Check to see if you can reach with a long pole and a broom. Maybe like a boat uh, brush or something like that. Maybe you'll be able to do it. If not, uh, you're going to have to try other, other means. Okay? A ladder, whatever. But be very careful on a ladder with water. All right. So I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you. Thank you.